What's going on? It's D-Man. Bringing to you my first NBA game in my career, NBA 2K14. You know I'm mad hyped right now. If you missed my last video, I got drafted to the OKC Thunder. I get to play alongside Russell Westbrook and Kevin Durant. And that's good because Kevin Durant happens to be one of my favorite players. I like to watch him play, and now I get to play alongside of him. So you see the first game, we're going against the Utah Jazz. You see they're bringing up the stats. They have Jeremy Lamb starting at shooting guard. I think I'm going to take that spot. You know, 2K does that sometimes. I'm a point guard, but they're not going to sit Russell Westbrook for little old me when I get that started position. So me and Russell Westbrook probably be a two-guard position. No problem with that. You see me pulling up for the mid-range jumper. I have an athletic point guard, so I can't show off the strange range just yet. Have to pull off those middies, and they have to dunk whenever I'm able. You see, they keep sagging off, and I see why. I'm just going to miss that mid-range jumper, but Thabo Stefalosha is going to back me up with his new number. He changed his number to 25. Not sure why. I have to make sure I say that or some people would be like, oh, 2K got the numbers wrong. Now he just changed his jersey number. You see right here, that's that accidental shot. When you play 2K14, I'm pretty sure you'll know what I mean. The pro stick, it just sometimes you shoot on accident. That's all it really is. You try to do a crossover, but you hold it too long and you shoot. You see right here, I took it right to the basket, got the foul, tried to get the and one. But I'm going to go to the free throw line, shoot these free throws. I'm going to make the first one. And these free throws don't really matter because if you look at the score, we're going to demolish. I'm not sure what the deal is, but the Jazz are going so ham right now. But it's all good. Look at this bad defense turning into good defense. I'm going to knock the ball loose on accident. I have an open lane in front of me. I'm athletic, so you know I'm going in for the dunk. That's my first dunk in a real NBA game. I mean, it was a weak dunk, but it was a nice little something-something. I'm still getting jiggy for a rookie. Doing all I can, 10 points, no assist. I'm not sure what it is on 2K14, but my teammates just do not make shots. And look at that bad defense right there. He got me on that pump fake. My teammates do not make shots. I pass it to D Fish wide open, he misses. I pass it to Jeremy Lamb wide open, who's supposed to be a pretty good shooter. He misses, but you say I got back. You left me wide open for that mid range, you know I'm gonna knock that down. That's my 12th point right there. Derek Fisher bringing it up court. I'm calling for it because I'm trying to get him some points on the board, but it's not really going to matter. You see, I'm just playing with the pro stick, just trying to see what I can do. I'm you rolling, going in, getting the foul. Like I said before, though, this game is just a blowout. And check this out right here. I thought the coach subbed me out in the middle of a free throw. I was like, what? You want me out the game that bad that you subbed me out in the middle of a free throw? But I guess it was just a little 2K bug. I'm going to knock down that free throw, but we're going to lose the game big. So game two. Minnesota, I'm 0-1, they're 1-0, we're trying to give them the first loss, there's the starting lineup, of course I'm not in it yet, it's just my second game, but get a good look at it, because you know I'm coming for that number one spot, hopefully they put me at shooting guard, I just want to be at shooting guard so I can play with Russell Westbrook and Kevin Durant, fast breaks, alley oops for days, I can already feel it, see I'm going to hit my boy D Fish, he's not going to shoot, he's going to pass it right back, I'm going to step in a little bit, I'm trying to get in my sweet spot right here, I know they're going to leave me open because they think I can't shoot, but I'm going to throw at that mid range, that's just my game right now, we're at the free throw line, I'm just a bum, I can't even knock down these free throws, JP3 needs to get his act together, we're still in the first quarter, we're still up by a little bit though, so missing a free throw now isn't really going to hurt us. Gnomes, pass it off to JP3, I'm still getting used to this pro stick, you see me trying to put moves on them in and out, I'm going into the rack, can't get that N1, I need to equip finisher already so I can make those, but I'm just making a living at the line right now, they keep fouling me, and that's how 2K14 is, I noticed almost right away that they call a lot of fouls, at least they do in my player mode, like everything is a foul, it just doesn't matter, they like to blow that whistle, like they too short or something, it's all good. So I'm at the free throw line, waiting for the rep to hand me the ball. He's taking forever in the day. But I'm still going to knock this free throw down, even though I'm still kind of bummy. We're up 10 right now. We're doing pretty well. It's looking like we're going to win. They keep leaving me open for these mid-range jumpers. I'm finally able to put a few points on the board. I did upgrade my mid-range just a little bit before this game. We're on the fast break. You know I'm calling for it. Looking for my boy KD. Look at the pass. But KD is going to mess up the highlight. Come on, KD, you have to finish that one, man. Messing up the highlights. The fancy passes on this game are so nice. I can't wait to pull some off in crew. Hopefully, I'll be able to find a crew. And then I'll bring that gameplay to you. As you see me get a nice assist down low. That is my first assist of the game. Like I said, starting off, I can't get that many assists. Everybody keeps missing their shots for some reason. I'm not sure what the deal is. But you see, I'm still knocking down my shots. Earlier on in this game, the coach did sub me out. 
because I was making a lot of mistakes. Speaking of which, this isn't going to be a mistake right here. I'm going in for the dunk. Ah, uh, that dunk was so weak. That dunk was so weak, man. I need to step my game up. But the coach did sell me out. And when I got back into the game, the Timberwolves were up. So I'm not sure what we're going to do. My teammates won't make shots. And I can't make any shots. So we got to try our best. And you see, I'm feeding KD right here. And KD's going to go in for the layup. I get another assist. Running the fast breaks on the OKC Thunder are going to be so fun. They try to dish it down low to K-Love. And Kevin Love is going to miss that. I'm pretty much leaking every time on these fast breaks. Trying to get easy points. See right there, I feed Jeremy Lamb. And he's going to knock down that jumper. So it's 81 all, but we keep making mistakes. Nobody will knock down shots, and the Timberwolves will come down court and make theirs. Kevin Durant swinging it to Lamb. Lamb's going to hit that three. 86 all. Pretty close game. But the Timberwolves did pull away eventually. They're in the bonus. 30 seconds left. This game is looking like another L for the OKC Thunder. I do keep feeding Lamb, though, because he heat up out of nowhere. He was missing his shots all game. But he decided to make his shots when it was pretty much too late. And we're going to have to foul. So let me know, what do you want to see from 2K14? I plan on posting my career, of course. Crew, of course. Maybe my team. I don't know. A little birdie told me my team is messed up. But we'll see. Holler to you all later. Peace.